Ever wondered which builds more muscle, fast reps or slow reps? Well, there's a common belief in the fitness world that the speed of your reps can significantly impact your muscle growth. Some swear by the intensity of fast reps, while others vouch for the controlled burn of slow reps. But which one truly reigns supreme when it comes to packing on that muscle mass? Let's bust some myths and break down the facts. Join us as we dive deep into the science behind fast reps and slow reps. Starting off with fast reps, what exactly are they? Well, imagine yourself at the gym, pumping iron. Fast reps are when you perform your exercises at a higher speed, completing each repetition in a shorter amount of time. This quick and explosive movement engages your fast twitch muscle fibers, the ones responsible for power and speed. The benefits? Fast reps can help to increase your power output, enhance your athletic performance, and even burn more calories during your workout. But like all things in life, there's a flip side. The potential drawbacks include a higher risk of injury due to improper form or overexertion, and less time under tension for your muscles, which might limit muscle growth. So it's not about blindly rushing through your reps. It's about understanding when to use fast reps and how to do them safely and effectively. Now that we understand fast reps, let's turn our attention to slow. Switching gears to slow reps, how do they work? Well, imagine doing your usual workout, but with a twist. You're lifting the same weights, but now you're doing it at a snail's pace. This is the world of slow reps. They're all about control and time under tension. Slow reps force your muscles to work harder for longer periods. This increased time under tension can lead to greater muscle growth and strength. It's like moving a mountain one pebble at a time. But as with everything, there's a flip side. Slow reps can be tough on your joints and tendons. And they can make your workouts longer, which might not fit into everyone's schedule. However, slow reps can be a game changer for those looking to shake up their routine or for those hitting a plateau in their training. With a clear understanding of both fast and slow reps, it's time to delve into the science. yourselves as we venture into the world of science behind fast reps and slow reps. Let's start with a basic understanding of the muscle contraction process. When you lift weights, your muscles undergo two types of contractions, the concentric or lifting phase, and the eccentric or lowering phase. Now research suggests that slow reps enhance the eccentric phase, causing more muscle damage and thus potentially leading to greater muscle growth. A study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology found that slow rep training led to twice the muscle growth in the eccentric phase compared to fast reps. But before you start counting seconds on your next lift, let's consider another angle. Fast reps, on the other hand, are all about power and strength. They engage your fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for explosive movements. A study in the European Journal of Applied Physiology showed that fast rep training significantly increased power output compared to slow rep training. These findings suggest that fast reps could be the key to enhancing athletic performance. But what do the experts say? Well, most agree that variety is the spice of life and training Mixing up your rep speed can help shock your muscles into growth and prevent your body from adapting to a single speed. And let's not forget about the metabolic effects. Slow reps increase time under tension, which can stimulate a higher release of growth hormone. A study in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research found that slow rep training led to a greater increase in metabolic stress, potentially aiding in fat loss and muscle growth. Science has spoken, but what does this mean for your workout routine? But how does this affect your workout? Well, let's dive into the nitty gritty of it. You see, both fast and slow reps have their place in your workout routine, and it's all about finding the right balance. Fast reps with their explosive nature are great for boosting your strength and power. They engage your fast twitch muscle fibers, which are responsible for those short, intense bursts of effort. Think of it like sprinting 100 meters. On the flip side, slow reps are your marathon runners, they target your slow twitch muscle fibers, which are built for endurance. These reps are all about control and resistance, really making your muscles work for every bit of movement. So how do you balance these two? Consider your goals. If you're aiming for raw power, perhaps you want to lean more towards fast reps. But if you're going for endurance and muscle tone, slow reps might be your ticket. Of course, this doesn't mean you should limit yourself to one or the other. 
a well-rounded workout routine will incorporate both, allowing you to reap the benefits of each. For example, you might start your workout with some fast reps to get your heart pumping, then switch to slow reps to really dig into those muscle fibers. Remember, the most effective workout is one that you enjoy and can stick to in the long run. Both fast and slow reps have their place in muscle building. It's all about understanding their unique benefits and incorporating them effectively into your workout routine. Fast reps, as we've discussed, are fantastic for power and strength. They engage your fast twitch muscle fibers and stimulate explosive growth. On the other hand, slow reps are all about control and endurance. They target your slow twitch fibers and promote muscle hypertrophy. It's important to remember that there's no one-size-fits-all approach here. The science behind fast and slow reps is complex, and individual differences play a huge role. The key is to experiment, listen to your body, and find what works best for you. In the end, whether you're pumping out fast reps or grinding through slow ones, it's consistency and dedication that will bring you the results you're after. Until next time, keep lifting and stay strong.